All right, I'm going to show you how to configure Apache to use HTTPS or SSL. First thing I want to do is um, pull up our machine here. All right, so here's my server. Um, and we don't have any SSL installed. So the first thing I'm going to do is install uh, mod SSL and open SSL. So I do a yum install mod SSL. This is the Apache modules for SSL and open SSL for creating certificates and keys. So I install that. All right. Now it's installed and I can go over to, uh, well, first I'm going to generate some keys. Um, there are two different ways of doing it. You can either do a self-signed key or you can do a certificate signing request and then use that to have some other company sign the key for you third party we're going to start with uh, the certificate signing request method and we just will self-sign it so we do open ssl um, gen rsa and we want our out to be our key name and we want this key to be um, example dot key. And we're at 248. All right, so we generate the key. All right, now once we have the key, we can create our cert certificate signing request. And the certificate signing request is really important to send to usually you can uh, pay a lot of money and have someone sign it for you um, so we're going to create a CSR um, VeriSign or somebody else and when we do this it asks you for some information so we put our, our country code US we'll say Oregon um, we are in and then we put company and organizational unit information. Um, this is a server uh, example.com and an email address. And then if we put a password in there if we want, other information. We don't need to put all this information in there. We can just create it. So now we have our, our CSR file. And we would take the CSR file and upload it to some place like VeriSign, and then they would create a certificate. If, however, we wanted to sign it with our own key, we could do that as well. We do open SSL, um, X9, let's do days of 365 days. And our CSR was example.csr. And our sign key will be our original key, even though that's not normally what you should do, unless you're doing a self signing certificate. And then our up file would be our CRT certificate. All right, so now we have this key and our certificate. Um, you can see all the files right here. If you were using SE Linux, one thing you want to make a note of is that these certificates right now are admin home T as their context type. When you install the certificates, if you install them with the incorrect type, uh, then Apache will not be able to read them. So we want to go over to Apache configuration now. And that's in the etc um, httpd conf.d directory is where we're going to go. And in here we see there's an ssl.conf file. So we're going to go edit that one. ssl.conf. And we search for our key information. You can see right here the server certificate it is currently localhost.crt and the key 
is localhost.key. So we're going to change our certificate to example.crt and change this to example.key. So example.crt and example.key. You'll notice that they're both in the etc pki tls directory. One's in certs and one's in private. All right, we exit out of there. And then I go to those directories. etc pki tls. Let's go to certs. And in search, we want to put our certificate. Let's see, there's currently the localhost.crt file here. We're going to copy. If you move, you will get the wrong context. So you want to copy from the root the example.crt file right here into this current directory. And then I go down into the private directory, and I'm going to copy my key over here. Copy from root my example.key to right here. At this point, um, you can see that the context type for the key is cert underscore t. And we want that to be cert underscore t. If it is incorrect type, you want to use something like a restore con on the example.key file and restore the context which is just change it back to cert.t, cert underscore t. We should be able to now restart our uh, web server and test it. All right, now I go over to a client machine. It's currently pointing to the server. Now, when I add the HTTPS colon slash slash in the front of this, it will try to load the page. And it says it is busy. I must have left the firewall up. All right, so on the server, I do firewall CMD add service equals HTTPS. And I want to make it permanent, so I make it permanent. I go back to my client machine again, and I try loading it. And now it has this, your connection is not secure. This is because I have a self-signed certificate. If I had signed it with someone else, then it would not indicate this. So I click advanced, scroll down, add exception, and I can view it if I want to. I'm just going to from the security exception. It'll load the page. And now you can see it has the HTTPS. Page loaded, I can click on it. Connection not secure, I can view that. Um, and there you go. That's how you do a self-signed certificate.